Hello everyone, welcome back to the episode of a player review. <laughs> Is that the series? Hello everyone, welcome back to the episode of an honest player review, the player review series where I review a player honestly. So, so far with these team of the seasons reviews, you guys have really been enjoying them and I'm really happy about that because I've been enjoying making them. So let's continue that in the Bundesliga, we had last time reviewing our favorite player ever, team of the season Modest. This time we're reviewing two players actually, um, and I don't really know which one to center it around, so we're just gonna have a versus episode. Now I know this is similar to what Zwei does, where he puts two strikers against each other, and I pretty much do the exact same thing, but I will say I'm not copying him, because if you look at when he did his, I think it was like April 11th or something, and I did it the day before, so it was my idea, and he obviously stole it from me. So the first player that we're going to be looking at is Emil Forsberg, the left forward, left winger, whatever you want. He usually plays actually in the middle of the park, so like a cam, but he's playing as a left forward for us, and if you just look at his stats, on the face card it looks incredible, but when you add the Hunter Chemistry Style on 10 Chem, he gets some of these things. Now I'm just going to read them, and you guys can pause the video and read them, or just listen to me. With Hunter, it becomes a 96 rated cam slash left forward. He has 99 agility, 98 balance, 96 ball control, 99 acceleration, 99 finishing, 92 curve. The big three for me, and I think it's also for Zwei, is agility, ball balance, and then acceleration. Because those mean that like you can do the L2 R2 dribbling and just get past people. And because they're basically all 99, that means that he should probably be good at that. The only caveat is that he is 5'10", and I notice with players that are shorter, they actually have better uh, ability to do what I just mentioned earlier because they have a lower center of gravity. So the, what I'm going to compare him to is Smurf Mertens, Dries Mertens. His 88 rated card is still the best offensive card I've used this entirety of FIFA. So we'll see if Forsberg is similar to that. Now the second player we're pitting Forsberg against is Lars Stindl. And you can see his stats here. I'm using the engine on him. I'm actually playing him a striker, which isn't necessarily the best place to play him because if you look at where he can play, 95 at striker, 97 and 97 at cam. Uh, 95 at center mid, and if you just look at his defensive and physical stats, that's why a lot of people are playing him as a central midfielder. But personally, I used him before and he wasn't too great for me. He was still really good, uh, but he wasn't actually the best center mid I've ever used. Now looking at these stats with the engine and with 10 chemistry, he has 95 agility, 99 balance, 99 dribbling, 93 acceleration, but he's not the kind of player that I think will really be good at L2R2 dribbling. For me, he's going to be more of a player who's in good position all the time, and then we'll be able to tap it in or just finish it, because he does have, I'm pretty sure, 99 finishing as well. But that dribbling, hopefully, is going to be really huge for us. Almost 99 in every category for that park. In terms of price, Stindl was 130k, whereas Forsberg was 205k. So even though the lower rated player, um, they pretty much have similar stats, in my opinion, except for pace but the lower rated player costs a lot more, so we'll see if he's worth that extra 70k. Anyway, I'm gonna be using them in this squad. We have up top Stindl, of course, Forsberg at left forward. We have Griffo there at left forward, or at right forward, but he's left forward, so he gets six or seven chem. Uh, we have Konoplyanka, we have Sanchez, Rudy, Heller, and then the back line, uh, Hovedez, Martinez, Hasebe, Hredeki. You're probably wondering why I'm just using like kind of bad cards, and it's just because I don't have too many coins, so I can't really fill out the squad with crazy players when I'm using Tots like Forsberg and Stindy. Anyway, that's going to be the episode. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I'm playing in the Daily Knockout Tournament. We're trying to get Tots Pulisic. I can do a review on him if I actually get him. If you're excited about this episode, if you like the player reviews, please drop a like on the video. Let's get into it, lads. All right, first opponent has a four and a half star 80 overall 94 chem team. Musa, Mane, Walcott. That's straight up pace, but then this team's kind of strange and he has a random silver at center back. There are no restrictions, so I don't know why he's doing that. There's Forsberg, Forsberg. Plays it for Griffo. Keep going, Griffo. The Italian mug. Can you get by your man? Can you center it? Oh, he almost centers it to me. Forsberg should have scored that. Inside. Stindl. Stindl's gonna bang it. Oh, Forsberg. Wow, okay, apparently these guys do know they're competing against each other. Forsberg just blocked Stindl's shot. Griffo for Stindy. Up top. Here's Emil Forsberg. Forsberg with the four-star skills. Can he get the finesse? Oh, it's Emil Forsberg who's first on the board. He makes it 1-0 great bit of skill right there. That's the thing that could be a huge difference. Forsberg does have those four-star skills and Stindl does not. Even though Stindl, I would say, is just as good as dribbling, he doesn't have those skill moves. And that allows for this Burba spin, the nice finesse. Good job. Go, Stindl. Renato Sanchez. Go, Renato. Keep running. Come on, center it for the Stindl. When's the Stindl gonna make his good run? Stindy! Oh, what a save by Begovic. Play it. Here's Forsberg. Left foot. He has a left foot. Oh, just a bit wide. 
Alright, at the halftime break, I'm dominating, but this guy really likes to hold possession, so I'm actually not getting too many chances. Alright, so I actually think that the way I was playing was kind of unfair, because both these players are actually really good at cams, uh, and if I were to recommend where to play them, I would say, instead of striker, play them at cam. So I switched the 4 triple 2 formation. Both are now playing at cam, and we'll see who plays better in the second half. Go Forsberg, come on. Forsberg. We've played like 15 minutes and Forsberg actually hasn't done anything, but here he's going. Here he's going, boys. Here he's going on a run. A little Swedish run! Get there! Oh, what a block. What a save. Griffo. Hernandez. Wait for the run. Forsberg. Here's Forsberg. Go. Forsberg. Come on. Get by your man. Oh, Forsberg. The dribbling is insane. In the membrane. He still has it somehow. Still with Forsberg. Oh, still... Does he still have it? Come on. The Swedish... The Swedish fish of dreams. Left foot! Left foot if- Oh, he doesn't have a left foot apparently. One, two, again. Grit Chicharito. Play it for Hasebe. Go Hasebe. The center back, who's playing center defensive mid, sets up Chicharito! And he scores to make it 2-0. I'm still- I don't know, maybe this formation's kind of garbage because Forsberg and Stindl are just nowhere to be found. It's been about Chicharito the second half. Play it. Griffo. Wide now. Wide now. It's Stindl. Lars, come on. Go Lars. He's got a four-star weak foot. I'm not going to pass it. I should have passed it. And Forsberg gets a goal. Stindl. Kind of really thought that should have gone in. Maybe that's my fault. He does a 99 finishing. Rage quit. Game number one. Din. All right. Second match coming up against a five-star 84 overall 95 chem team. This one I'm just more familiar, except he has, he's playing Dries Mertens at center mid, which I don't understand. Uh, he has Giovinco also. Uh, Alexandra. It's like it's just Syria except for Giovinco up top. Also, he's wearing the Huddersfield kit. Shout out Huddersfield. Shout out Aiden. Congratulations on getting it into the prem. Konoplyanka. Keep running. Keep going, Konoplyanka. Play 1-2. Forsberg. Back for Konoplyanka. Keep going, Konoplyanka. Set up Forsberg. Set up Stindl. Stindl. Oh, back post, Alexandro. Stindl just can't get a goal. Stindl. Forsberg. One touch. Finesse. Oh, it's a lucky goal, but Forsberg is getting in the goals, boys. That's three in two matches. Uh, Stindl's still yet to score one, but what is this? I tried, it was a finesse, it was a good shot, it was probably gonna go in if it didn't take this deflection. But what a terrible deflection, no chance for Joseph. Griffo. Rudy. Play it through, Griffo. Go Griffo, go the Italian mug, cuts inside, look for that ball, Stindy! Oh, Stindl, he really can't score, boys. 1-2, Stindl. Back for Stindl. Play it for Forsberg. Forsberg, can he finish it? Oh, he can't finish Stindl! Finally, <laughs> boys. The finishing has been atrocious. Stindl makes it 2-0, gets a goal. I guess that's repayment uh, for what happened last game where Forsberg got it on the end of Stindl's garbage. This time Stindl cleans up the mess. Go Renato for Forsberg. Go Forsberg with the turn of pace. Keep going Forsberg, cut inside. He gets by his man. He gets by his man. Yes, he does. Still with Forsberg. Can he, can he find a shot? Can he find a pass? Can he find a finesse? He does find a finesse. Forsberg makes it four, I'm pretty sure. 3-0 up in this game right before halftime. This was really good individual effort from Forsberg, the Swedish fish. Look at that L2-R2 dribbling and the finesse of dreams. So at the break, we're completely dominating this match. Forsberg really showing out in this match. Heller. Deep running Heller. Look to set him up. Set up Stindy. Stindy! Oh, it's actually Griffo, the Italian mug scores. 4-0. I thought Stindl would be in that position right there. And another rage quit, this time after halftime. Stindl actually gets man of the match. All right, the semi-final opponent is coming up with a five-star 84 overall 100 come team. He's got in team of the season, Roger. Roger. He's got Aspas, 87, team of the group stage. Decent looking squad, BBVA, except Roger, I'm pretty sure, is second division. Go, Rudy, run. Who is that? Who is that down? I see Griffo. Griffo, can you get there? Can the Italian mug get there? Plays a great ball into Forsberg. Forsberg, tackled. Still with it, Stindl, get by your man. The weak foot, oh, it's the weak foot of dream. That's what I want from Stindl. That's the kind of goal he needs to score for us. Makes it one nil, excellent goal right there. The little L2-R2 pullback, which I thought he wasn't actually gonna be able to do, but he did. He did it, and then he finished it on the weak foot. Stindl, for the Italian mug. The Italian mug, play it back for the Stind. Play it back for the Stind. Yes, it's the Stind, he's coming to play, boys. Is that three goals, I think? Three goals in three matches. He's catching up to Forsberger. I'm pretty sure he's at four right now. It's Luka Modric. It's Athbath. Oh no, he scored. It was Luka Modric. Instant reply, boys. We could actually be having a game here. Forsberg. Stindl. 
Stindl hat trick. Stindl almost got the hat trick. Forsberg. Fors oh, Diego Alves. Lucky, lucky. Inside. Here's Stindl. Stindl. Bang it from there. Stindl. Oh, Diego Alves is saving Stindl's hat trick. Stindl. One, two. Wait for the run. Stindl. Back for him. Keep going, Stindl. Bang it from there. Stindl gets the hat trick, boys. There it is. That's the finishing. That is the finishing, boys. 3 1 now. Good play here. Look, the movement is actually really good from Stindl. Good first touch. He went through that guy's body. Only Stindl can do that. So at the break, playing very well. Three goals, all from Stindl. Forsberg's actually been pretty silent, and now Stindl is caught up in terms of goals. 1 2. Forsberg. Back for Forsberg. Great pass from Stindl. Mm, Forsberg, that's on to four star weak foot. Oh, the finishing is, has to be better there. Oh no, how does he still have it? How does he still have it? What a goal. But I tackled him with Hovedes and Rogier just didn't lose it. Nato Sanchez, good header. Forsberg, into Stindl, with the back heel. Griffo, the Italian mug! Yeah, he makes it 4-2. Stindl actually could have two assists right now to go with this hat trick, but Forsberg missed one, so Stindl is completely outperforming Forsberg in this match. Good, the Italian mug with space to run. Keep going, the Italian mug. Play 1-2 with Stindy. Stindy plays it down, Renato. Another 1-2. Stindl, what a touch! What a first touch that was! Oh, the finish left a lot to be desired, but that first touch was incredible. Kind of play Anka. Forsberg. Go Forsberg. Gets by his man. Still Forsberg. Oh, oh, Forsberg. Finesse that. Oh, could have been a great goal. There's Forsberg. Come on, get on the board, Forsberg. Get on the board, Forsberg. 5-2. What a strike by Forsberg. I don't know who I like more. It's really up in the air. And another rage quit. Not too bad from the boys. All right, final match. Coming up against a very solid squad. Uh-oh, five-star, 84 overall, 100 come team. He's got Werner. He's got Forsberg like I do. He's got Dembele, Vidal, Thiago, Keita, Boateng, Alba, Piszczek, Socrates, and Fermann. This could be difficult, boys. Stindl, great pass for Forsberg. Get away from him. Forsberg, come on, he's got the pace. He's got the pace. Can he whip it in for Stindy? Can he whip it in? Stindy! Oh, what a strike by the Stindmeister! Great play from both lads in that. Oh my goodness, what a finish. I thought there was no chance he was getting to that ball. What a job by Forsberg to first get down the wing, get by his man, and then whip in a great pass. But then for Stindl to get onto the end of that means he really does have 99 finishing. He does have that 99 attack positioning. You couldn't even see it because I think the Italian mug was in the way. Go Stindl. Come on. Can he hold off Vidal? This is a big test. Can he get away from Vidal? He actually is right now and he held him off. That was actually, that's really impressive. Gonna play Anka. Play it through for Stindl. Oh, he's gonna play it right to me. Go Stindl. Come on. Still with Stindl. Hit it from there. Hit it. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Oh, what a header by Stindl. What a header by Stindl. Forsberg plays it down. Stindl. Oh, wait, we still have it. Stindl, hit it again. Oh, it's Stindl, boys. Oh my goodness. He's such a legend. Stindl. I can't say enough about him. Look at this. First one gets blocked, pops right back to him. Calm, touch, bang. Stindl. All right, so at the break, we're playing really well, but this guy is actually really good, so I'm surprised we're up 2-0. The only thing that's separating us two is Stindl. Put it down. Here's Forsberg. Forsberg gets by one. He's so shifty. Still Forsberg. Turns his man. Keep going the Forsberg. Keep going the Forsberg. Still the Forsberg. Bang it from there. Oh my goodness gracious. How did that not go in? Here's Griffo. The Italian mug. Keep going the Italian mug. Still with it. Play it for Stindy. Stindy. Keep going. Stindy gets by everyone and he scores a hat trick, boys. Stindl. Is that the third hat trick in a row? I think it's just the second. But Stindl. He's taken over the goal lead from Forsberg with just incredible performances when it matters. Oh no, he's through with Thiago. He's through with Thiago. Great save again, but it bounces back to him. 3-1, I don't think it'll matter too much. We're in the 88th minute. And there's the full-time whistle, boys. 3-1, we get the victory. And we also get, of course, that Christian Pulisic. Let me know if you guys want to see a review on him. There we go, 1,000 coins. That 88 right mid Pulisic. I think I would play him at right forward. Play him either at right forward or play him at striker. 
But that card looks pretty dirty. So at the end of the four matches, we have Stindl played four matches, seven goals, three assists for us. Compare that to what Forsberg did. Forsberg, four games played, of course, five goals, two assists. So I'm pretty sure Stindl had more assists and more goals than Forsberg did playing at striker. Now let's review how they felt because that's what you can't really feel like when I'm playing with them. Forsberg was very agile, really, I could tell that he had the 98, 99, 99 for balance, acceleration, agility. The only thing is I was kind of correct in believing that because he's 5'10", he's not gonna be super quick like Adris Mertens is with the L2-R2, but he's still really good with the L2-R2 dribbling and that allows for a lot of good space to finesse it to shoot it. And speaking of shooting, his shooting was actually ridiculous. With the finesse, he scored some great ones, but also really importantly is that Travella, because I really like the Travella action on some of the balls it just gives you more flexibility when you're shooting it and Forsberg was able to do that at least once so his shooting I was very impressed with everything else very good but Stindl he reminds me sort of like Harry Kane because he doesn't jump off the page with the pace so if you're going to be using this card you have to know that you can't just outpace people but the thing that allows him to get by people even though he has kind of lower pace is his first touch I noticed a lot of times his first touch would be as he's turning towards goal so it's almost like he gets a little bit of pace boost just from that. Also his dribbling, 95 dribbling, when you add the engine, everything goes to 99. That felt like 99 dribbling because he had this thing where even if I got tackled, he would just bounce back to him. It would bounce off him and he'd continue on his way. So that was huge for him. His dribbling, I would actually say, was better than Forsberg's. His agility also, I don't remember what his agility sets were, but they were pretty good. I was extremely surprised at how agile he was, how quick he felt. He was very responsive. Both of these players, a huge thing, they were incredibly responsive. I would actually say Stindl was even more responsive, he was more responsive than what Modest was, and I would think it would be the opposite of way. So who impressed me the most? It would probably be Stindl just because of when he scored his goals and the manner in which he scored them. Not to say Fors Forsberg wasn't good because he was obviously incredible, but both of these are definitely weekend league players. I didn't come up against the Smalling, so I can't give either of them the Smalling badge, but I would say probably Stindl I would give like 90% like certainty he's a smalling killer, and then probably around 75%, maybe 70 for Forsberg that he would be a smalling killer. Because Stindl is also 130k, so it's 70k less, I would say you definitely need to try out Stindl. If, I wouldn't play him at center mid. A lot of people are playing him at center mid, but I feel like the runs he makes are so good that playing him at center mid is just kind of a waste. I would say center forward, Cam preferred sp uh, positions. If you want to play him at striker, that works too, but I think he's better at a center forward or cam position because the passes he makes, the hold up play, are very good. They allow for players like a Forsberg, like other fast players, to run off him. Forsberg, if you have the 205 coins, he's definitely worth 205 coins, so I would say try him out. But if you like want to build an entire team around him, I'm not sure I would do that. So anyway, that was the player review. Hope you boys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, comment, share with your friends. Tell me who I should review next time. And as always, don't forget to spare pets.